Hi and uh, welcome to uh, this real estate video tutorial uh, for some of the uh, agents that are using CJM Photo for their real estate photography. This is just a uh, very brief video covering how to download the digital files that we photographed on the property for you. So the first email that you'll receive is going to have a link to the gallery page and once you uh, get to that gallery page you're going to need to enter in your email address right there in the white box and then make sure that it's very important that you do put the correct email address in there because everything that we send you is going to be automatically sent to that email address that you just entered into that white box so again it's i don't want to emphasize how important it is to get the uh, correct email address in there so after you enter that go ahead and click on the view gallery now blue button down below and that will take you over to our main gallery page so that's going to consist of um, a folder of the low resolution files also a folder with the high resolution files and then also a folder that consists of both the low resolution and the high resolution so I want you to take a look up here in the upper right hand corner there's a, uh, a download all. I'll kind of magnify that for you a little bit more so you can see it better. Uh, there's a uh, shopping cart and then a download all. What you're going to do is go ahead and click on the download all right there. And this is obviously taken in consideration that you already have some unzip software on your computer. Uh, so, and if you don't, this is something that I found just typing in Google uh, free unzip software and it's actually kind of uh, suggesting that I use the uh, seven zip uh, unzip program so I would go ahead and have some sort of uh, unzipping software on your computer because everything that when you hit download all that's going to zip these files automatically for you and you'll be able to extract them out at a different time so once you've done that uh, it will ask you for uh, a download pin not all of our galleries require a pen, but in some, some circumstances, uh, you will need to have a pen in order to have access uh, to the uh, downloading ability of what we have here in the, in the uh, image galleries. So again, you would just type in uh, your pen right there and then click on the submit button right there and that'll bring you over into another pop-up which is gonna say that you'll shortly receive an email uh, link to download all the photos and then you can see the email address that was provided in the very beginning when you logged into the gallery that's why it's important that you get that email address correct so you would just click OK from that point and then what you're going to need to do from there is go over to uh, your email whether it be Yahoo Gmail etc um, so you'll receive a link to download your photos in the uh, subject line and then uh, within the body of the email, you, there's a, a link provided there and you would just simply just, you know, click on the clicking here link right there. Now, once you do that, it's going to, uh, you're going to get a pop-up, which uh, it's going to ask you, okay, files to download from, and then it's going to give the actual uh, property name, well, you know, of the gallery. So you would just, you're just going to click on this file one of one right there that uh, blue hyperlink right there just click on that and then once you click on that uh, you're gonna get another pop-up it's gonna ask you okay where where do you want to store these images at what destination where do you want to go uh, I would not have the open with I would go to immediately to select save the file and then select OK and that should bring you over uh, to uh, so your directory within your um, hard drive and just go ahead and either pre-create uh, a, a main property folder. Uh, on this example, I've got 001, you know, property one. And then I actually have uh, two subfolders there. I got a high res folder and a low res folder. Now, this, the zip folder is already created for you. That's what we're downloading right now. So I would park that with inside the main folder where all your images are going to go at. So once you once you have that selected right there, um, it's going to ask you, okay, extract all this right up in here. So we've got 
we have the zip folder in the proper folder within our hard drive and it's selected right now and when you have that highlighted then you would just hit extract all files now once you click on extract all files then all the JPEGs um, again you're gonna be asked for uh, destination and extraction that's just double checking what where we're at with this so just go ahead and have uh, if it was in the wrong folder, you had that option where you you just you know click on browse and then direct it to the correct folder on your on your hard drive, and then click on a, a show extracted files when complete, and then just click on extract. And once you do that, then all of the images uh, will go onto your hard drive on your on your computer. So that's if you're using uh, if you're okay with using unzipped software. Uh, there is another process that you can. Uh, you can do individual files one by one if you're a little bit more comfortable with that. Uh, the way you would do that is once you're in the gallery, you see the small thumbnails here in the background. There's actually, uh, under when you click on the small thumbnail, it brings up a larger version of that image for you. And then down here is where you'll see the download the image. And you would just simply just click on that. And then once you do that, you're going to be greeted with a little pop-up, uh, again, asking, you know, destination. Again, do not open it. I would go ahead and just save it. So you're gonna click on save file and then click on okay. And then that's going uh, the directed, you know, to the correct folder for you under that property one. And then all of your images are stored on your computer right there. So that's it, we pretty well, we covered the unzip and we also uncovered uh, or covered the individual file downloading. So let's get uh, let's get downloading and enjoy your day.